Does your closet look like this? Scary, overfilled, and messy? Have you been putting off cleaning it because whenever you try, you just end up giving up halfway through? Girl, me too. But no, hear me out. Today, we're in this together, and you must watch this video to become motivated to clean your closet and room as well. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Karma, an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. Link in my description box. Look, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just make a video like this not even over a year ago? Yes. Yes, I did. And am I proud of it? No. Hear me out. If you guys watch my videos, then you know that I have a very bad self-control problem when it comes to making clothing purchases. The point of this video is that I want to start making an effort to stop over-consuming and instead start investing in pieces that are actually going to last me a long time and that I'm not going to get bored of two months after purchasing them. Right, right now. Okay, right now. I have an overwhelming, excessive amount of clothes in my room that I don't know what to do with. And my brain right now is like, let's just get rid of all the clothes, sell it all online, and use that money to buy a whole new wardrobe. That doesn't sound like a horrible idea. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. Let's get into it. All right, so if you couldn't already tell, my room is made up of 90% clothing. I have a bunch of clothes on my clothing rack, shoes on the floor, clothes in the closet, clothes in my dresser. I shoved a bunch of clothes into these cabinets that I have in my room. I also ran out of space at some point and I had to put stuff into a suitcase. I clearly have a problem. And don't even get me started about the random piles of clothes that I have lying around my room. I wanted to pop in here really quickly to say that today's video is sponsored by Karma. If you guys are also in the process of cleaning out your closet in hopes to maybe buy a new wardrobe, you might want to listen to this because if you're anything like me and you're addicted to online shopping, Karma's app and Chrome extension will seriously come in handy for you. Not only will it alert you when coupons become available to use, but it will also alert you when prices drop. How convenient is that? I've been able to save a ton of money while I online shop using coupon codes that Karma provides for me, which explains how I can afford the excessive amount of clothing that I have in my room. Downloading Karma is so easy. All you want to do is click the link at the top of my description box. It'll take you to this Karma homepage and allow you to sign up. Once you sign up, it'll give you the option to add the Karma extension to Chrome. Then when the extension pops up, you want to click on it and add it to Chrome. Once you do that, it'll take you to this page, which allows you to become more familiar with the extension. You can actually use Karma to save products. That way you're notified when they come back in stock, when they go on sale, and when coupon codes become available to use. Karma has helped me so much with alerting me when things come back in stock. That feature of theirs has came in clutch so many times. You can get those notifications via email or through mobile push notifications, whichever one you desire. If you ever decide to go on any type of online shopping spree, you can actually use Karma to organize products that you like into lists. I actually created this list to save all the cute clothing pieces that I've been finding on the internet within the past few weeks. That way, once I finish this closet clean out, I'm already going to have a good idea of the purchases that I'm going to be making. I always use Karma to scan for coupon codes at checkout. That way, I save money and I don't end up broke. And remember, the coupon feature is a special feature that can only be used on desktop, so downloading the extension is a must. You guys can even earn cash back when you shop with select retail partners. And lastly, I will have this link here at the top of my description for you guys to go download Karma's Chrome extension for free. And what we need to do first is make a to-do list. That way I have some sense of organization and I don't end up giving up halfway through. If you're currently cleaning out your closet or planning to, feel free to use this list to help you out the next time that you do. Before I start, I want my to pick up all the clothes that's on the floor and just scattered around my room. That way this whole process doesn't feel as chaotic. I then want myself to go through all of the clothes that I already have and just strictly only take out the clothes that I don't want. After that, I should have a huge pile of clothes that I want to get rid of and so I want myself to organize it into piles of stuff that I'm going to be selling and donating. If there ends up being any clothes that I want to keep, I'm just gonna put it away. Then I'm gonna add to declutter and organize my closet and wherever else I keep my clothes. Eventually, I want myself to take pictures of the clothes that I'm gonna be selling and list it onto my Depop and Poshmark. And you know what? I'm just gonna add a friendly reminder to take a break because I'm definitely gonna need it. Once I've gotten the chance to fully finish decluttering my closet, I want myself to organize and refold all of the clothes and put them back where they belong. Oh, my clothing rack is also a huge mess right now. I want to put new clothes onto it just to make it look more presentable. And wow, okay, this list is actually pretty big. I'm just gonna add one more thing on here and that is to put away my laundry. So 
Since I had so many clothes that I was dealing with, I decided to make my main priority to take out all the clothes I knew I didn't want for a fact. I looked through my closet, my dresser, the little cabinets I told you guys about. These were the most overfilled spots with clothes in my room. Now enjoy this quick satisfying time lapse of me decluttering my closet. <laughs> I was creating this huge pile in the middle of my room of all the clothes that I knew I didn't want for a fact. I probably should have organized this better, but you guys get the idea. Okay, if you guys thought this was bad, it gets worse. I have this suitcase here. It's a pretty big suitcase. And I basically ran out of space everywhere that I had to resort to just shoving all the excess clothes that I had into this suitcase. I realized after having my clothes in here for like a month that I never really reached for the clothes that I had in here So that just tells me that maybe I should consider getting rid of this clothes because I didn't really reach for it So we're gonna open this right now and sort through it Do you guys see this? Oh my I clearly have a problem fact that this isn't even everything I should, I should probably be concerned. I wouldn't say that I got to go through my entire closet yet. I could keep going, except this is getting a little overwhelming and I need to organize this before I start to go crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chaotic mess and organize it into piles of stuff that I'm gonna be selling and donating because I know that I don't want to keep any of this. I'm gonna force myself to get rid of it. Usually this is the moment where I start to get overwhelmed and give up, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna put a timer on to make sure that I finish this under 20 minutes. It really shouldn't be that hard. We're gonna go through with this. So everything that is going into this bag is getting donated. For the next step, I have a huge pile of clothes here that I'm going to be listing onto my Depop and Poshmark. I'm going to be getting rid of stuff like this Almighty oh skirt that I don't really use anymore, some cute slip dresses that I retired, a bunch of halter tops that I don't really wear anymore. I have so many cute sweaters that I was obsessed with last year, but I just don't wear anymore. Got lots of cute low-rise jeans. These are actually from Guess. But yeah, right now I'm just going to be taking a bunch of pictures. Hopefully I can finish taking all the pictures today because it usually takes me way longer than it should. probably the most dreadful part of the entire process. At some point, I have to force myself to finish because it just starts to get so boring and it starts to feel like a chore, but I pulled through for you guys. It is now one hour later and I have officially finished taking all the photos. Are you guys proud of me? Please tell me that you're proud of me. I yeah. But now that I've finished taking the photos, I'm now going to be going onto my Depop and actually listing everything. Okay, we got everything listed. Can I get a round of applause? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Go check out my Depop, my Poshmark, just to help me get rid of everything. If you're watching this and you want to purchase something and you want a discount, just message me, Moose, and I'll give you a discount off of anything because I'm just trying to get rid of everything and I got you guys. Just saying. Just saying. Anyways, what is the next step? 
as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I was mainly focusing on just taking clothes out of my closet that I knew I didn't want for a fact. But now that kind of left me with a bunch of clothes in my closet that I may or may not want to get rid of. I actually did this method in my last closet clean out and it helped me a lot. And that is to basically go back into my closet, take all the clothes out that I left inside and actually try it on and test myself to see if this clothes actually meets my criteria for keeping clothes. Basically, this is a way to test myself and see if I'm actually willing to keep a lot of the clothes that I left inside my closet. This is now the part where I had to ask myself some serious questions. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Some which included, do I wear this clothing piece often enough to the point where if it went missing, I would notice? Now that I have this on, I think it looks cute, but I genuinely cannot remember the last time that I wore this, so it's gonna have to go. Does it actually fit me well or do I have to convince myself that it does? I love this top, but it just doesn't fit me right. I feel like it has so much potential, but it's just like not flattering on me. Is the material of this clothing piece high quality and comfortable? And question number four, as Marie Kondo would say, does it spark joy? Does it make me happy to look at? Or make me excited to wear? If I answered yes to all four of those questions, then I get to keep the item. Otherwise, it's going into the sell and donate pile. Do any of you remember when I thrift flip this in one of my videos last year? This is the part where I have to put my emotional attachment aside because I literally never wear this. It's so cute though. last thing I did was finish organizing everywhere that I kept my clothes. I refolded everything and made it so that when I pick out my clothes, it's a lot less time consuming. And this ended up being the finished product.